I figured I should probably do a video on this broadleaf evergreen. This is a Mexican orange, otherwise known as Choisia ternata. Pretty tough plant, um, grown in warmer areas, zone seven through 10. Uh, this is the time of year, late, well, I guess just spring, spring, early summer, that you get a profusion of flowers. It will intermittently flower up until uh, sometime in the fall, but let's get in here and look at these flowers. You know, just kind of your typical white flower. So many people says, say that it smells like orange flowers. I don't really agree with that. I think it's a little more baby powder smelling to me. Um, as soon as I come in my backyard, I can smell it now. But it, for me, it's not an overpowering smell, but it's not my favorite. Uh, this year was the very first year I've ever seen damage on this plant. So those those really cold winds just burnt the tips of some of the leaves. You can see here. But not a big deal. I mean, none of the branches died back or anything. So, you know, if it's flowering profusely and it's got new growth coming out, this thing uh, will get refreshed in no time. And... Uh, you know, it likes well-draining soil, just like 99.9% .9 of plants do, but reasonably drought tolerant. I find that it can't handle full sun. I, I know that you'll see it rated as a full sun plant, but I had these originally in my front yard for uh, a year or so, and they just burnt. Uh, they were unhappy. Uh, I moved them back here. In the summertime here, they I mean, they do get a reasonable amount of sun during the day, probably 12 hours, but it's not the really intense hot afternoon sun. And then, you know, going into winter, they get they get less light, but um, I would not plant them in full sun. Uh, I have grown four types of uh, Choicea. So I started with the green one, it failed in full sun. I went to, um, I have another variety called Gold Fingers. I'll show it to you. And Gold Fingers is kind of an uncommon one. Usually you see Sundance and Gold Fingers failed in full sun. So I had to move that one. And uh, I ended up going to uh, Aztec Pearl, which is a hybrid variety and that, ate the full sun up it was an amazing plant but almost too vigorous uh, there's another one called blue stone i have not tried that one uh, i believe that that one's from arizona it looks very similar to aztec pearl but the regular green variety uh, as you can see it's a big plant i mean i've been trying to control this thing and it's getting to the point where i'm losing control of it so it's uh close to seven feet wide so these things are big plants, um, bigger than I expected when I planted this many years ago. I think it's been back here at least four years now. So this was just a one gallon, you know, big box special, cost me eight bucks. And look at it. And I've uh, pruned this thing heavily over the years. I have another one over here. It's getting a little bit more competition from the bamboo and such so you're not seeing as much of the plant but this one is just eating up the space uh, I'm almost at the point where I'm thinking hmm maybe I should do something about this and replace this but we're gonna let it ride for another year uh, it generally is a pretty easy plant to take care of I haven't noticed any pests I just prune when it's done after this big bloom here, I'll go and I'll just kind of prune it for shape and a bit of size. It doesn't seem to mind getting um, a reasonable amount cut off of it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend cutting more than a third off of this plant. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, a real easy one that the leaves, you get this, they, they're in patterns of three, this kind of tri-lobed shape. And you know, it's just kind of like a good shrub maybe not at the forefront the way i have it right now would be probably better more towards the back of a border or in very large gardens but if you want to try that one like i said hardy down to zone seven um you know the scent you know that i don't love it but that's just me right 
it's just like food. Everybody has different tastes. So there you go, Choisy Trinata, Mexican orange.